Hello Wildcats, I'm Mateo Romero. I'm Allison Borgman. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Wildcat, Wildcat Rewind. Rewind. It was a busy week for spring athletes. Despite the rainy weather, Wildcat athletes shine bright this week as their seasons start to wrap up. On Tuesday, the track team was on the road at the Nina Tron meet. The 4x800 team of Fred Moorhead, Preston Bocan, Jerry Sowers, Delson Tradle, and Connor Gibbs took first alongside Reed Pollock in the 100 meter dash. Sydney Nelson took first in the 100 meter and 300 meter hurdles, followed by another first place performance by Kylie Treadle in the 400 meter dash. Boys varsity golf struck victory against Alton North, 175 to 180. All five Wildcats penciled 40s onto their scorecards as Parker Gerlach and Ben Reitz shot a 43. Nice swing in Wildcats. On Thursday, the team fell to Oshkosh North at their home course. The boys tennis team approached Appleton North on the road Wednesday. They forced their way to a 4-3 victory. They loved to win. On Thursday, they fell short to Kimberly. Good luck to our Wildcats for the rest of the season. Hunter spent some quality bonding time this weekend with Jacob Stinsky from the tennis team. Let's turn it over to Hanging with Hunter. Welcome to Hanging with Hunter. All right, this is Hunter. Who am I here with today? Jacob Stinsky. Let's get it on. Um, what is your mentality going into conference? Well, um, we haven't played Nina yet. We're actually gonna play Nina today. So the big contenders there are gonna be Kimberly and Nina. So I'm hoping, last year I took second losing to Kimberly, um, but I'm hoping to take first and finally beat Kimberly. But it really depends on how the match with Nina goes today. And you play singles, right? Yep. Uh, what's your favorite part about playing singles? Um, my favorite part about playing singles is probably, I don't know, I just really like, the fact that it's just me. Like, I don't have to rely on somebody else, and also I don't um, have to have anybody else to blame but myself when I fail or when I succeed. All right, so we're here with my good friend Carlos. And uh, Jacob, what's a song that really gets you hyped before the game, you know, gets you in that right mind? Um, one song that definitely gets me in the right mind is um, Wake Up by Jonathan Colton. It really just, it really gets me in a nice, like calm little feeling that really helps me when I'm in my matches. Stand still and settle down. Dig deep. That's a good song. All right, and if you played doubles, um, who would be the number one person on the team you'd like to play with? Probably Yosef. I've definitely played with Yosef a lot. I've known him for a long time, and I feel like we would actually do pretty well as a doubles team. All right, Jacob, it was great hanging with you today. Have a good one. Nice job, Hunter. The rain stalled the softball team until Wednesday, where they faced off against Kakano. The Ghosts spooked the Wildcats in the first two innings, leading the Wildcats to a haunting defeat. Then on Thursday, they faced off against Kimberly, shredding the papermakers 4-3. On Friday, the Wildcats defeated Oshkosh North 5-4 on Youth Appreciation Night. We wish these athletes good luck as they look to bring home a title this season. Lightning struck twice as Appleton North defeated the baseball team in their rematch last week Wednesday. Back at home, the Wildcats bat away the Fond du Cardinals, rallying together for a 5-4 victory. They finished out the week with an unfortunate loss against Kekana. On this week's Baking with Brady, Brady got in the kitchen with one of his teammates. Let's take a look. This is Baking with Brady. Welcome to Baking with Brady. Today I'm here with Ryan Williamson. He's a varsity pitcher and designated hitter for West Baseball. Ryan, what are we making today? Oatmeal cookie raisin bars. One cup of flour into the bowl. Right into the bowl. Into the bowl. Now we're gonna add one half teaspoon of baking soda. You couldn't have guessed, that one goes into the bowl. Fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. Into the bowl. This, how has the uh, team been so far? Like, what positives have you seen in the team throughout the struggles? Well, we've been communicating with each other on what we need to work on and what's going well for us, and then trying to fix that. It hasn't really gone the way that we wanted to, but we're still working on that, and we still have potential to grow for next year also for the people that are playing. Just so we can pour those wet ingredients right in the middle, and then it combines the ingredients better. Now that I'm mixing this, so you didn't play last year because you went through Tommy John, 
had surgery, but sophomore year, you came out strong, looked very promising. How's your arm feeling this year? Uh, it's feeling better. Could feel a lot more better, but I'm working with it right now and trying to make it as best as I can for the future, but trying to make it work for the team. Last ingredient, the raisins. It's probably good. Raisins into the bowl. Our Willie, you had to face them. How is that pitching compared to just um, your average FEA pitching? Can you tell a big difference or does it just seem like every other guy? Uh, you can tell the difference, but I honestly like the facing the guys that throw harder more because it's easier to just adjust to the fast stuff and then wait on the slow stuff. But if you can just attack the fast stuff, you don't have to wait for the off speed and more tricky stuff. So I prefer that kind of stuff. Same with Kimberly. There for. <laughs> I did not. Mm, this, this looks, looks yummy, yummy in my tummy. All right, now that these bars have cooled, let's dig in. Our Willie, let me know how you like them. All right. Very good. How do you like them? I actually really like them. Very crispy. The raisins are soft and gooey. That's it for Bacon with Brady with my special guest, Ryan Williamson. Back to you guys at the desk. Smelling scrumptious, Brady. With the sun out and shining, Marcus Miller couldn't handle the heat and took it indoors. Let's send it over to Marcus Does Sports, where he attempts to wrestle Garth Martell. And now, entering the arena, two-time state wrestler, the Goliath, Garth Martell! And now, entering the arena, Marcus. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Marcus. Okay, big baby, where's your diaper? Look at your pretty pink suit, Marcus. You wish you could afford this. You can't afford this beating. Go! Wrestle! Hey toddler, are we done yet? I got one more thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That looked painfully fun, Marcus. On senior night, the girls' soccer team hosted Alton West in a Wednesday night showdown. Brenna Gary scored early in the game, and the Wildcats held strong for a 1-0 victory. Congrats to our seniors. Following senior night, the Wildcats clawed tooth and nail for a 3-0 win versus Hortonville. Good luck in your final games, and let's hope this team can kick their way to a championship title. This concludes our final episode of the Wildcat Rewind. Tune in next week as we recap our favorite moments from this year. Thank you all for watching and supporting the show. See you next week, and go, go Wildcats! Wildcats. Hey!